Hey everyone, March 2024 is in the books. So sharing my trade results for the month of March. As always, pause the video to read the full risk disclosure. Investing in options trading does involve risk. Past performance may not be indicative of future performance. Uh, so before I jump into mine, uh, Chad runs our day trading live stream a couple of days a week. So on his mighty 90 and runner strategies, a uh, pretty light month of trading on those as he um, was out for a week, turkey hunting, not too many setups. And I think his focus has also shifted a little bit more to his zero DTE stuff. So on a zero DTE, uh, AM Iron Condors, a little over 9,000 on 18 trades. Lunchtime, uh, 18 trades as well, a little over 6,600. And um, Power Hour, 18 trades, almost 14K. So total 65 trades, 42 winners, 23 losers, 29,645. So another nice month from Chad on his TLC zero DTE trades. Uh, as far as my stuff goes, uh, I had a really good month. One of my best months ever um, in my, in my toss account. So um, this is my standard margin account. What I've done here is, as I mentioned last month, is I've transitioned all of my strategies out of this account, except for these four, my RIC, my one DTE and a couple of re-entries. All these are uh, automated and I'm, I'm compounding this account. So a uh, nice return. This is 44.22% for the month of March in this account uh, with a very minimal drawdown of uh, just over 5%. So here's the uh, P&L curve in this account so far. Now this challenge portfolio just started March 1st, so this month, but what a start, right? I mean, like, that's I think, they, I think we call that a hockey stick. Uh, so that account now is up 80 plus percent uh, year to date. You can see um, January was up about 10% that month. February about 18% and then another 44% this month. So that account's just going crazy. Uh, my portfolio margin account, this is the one that I've had, <clears throat> well, three drawdowns in now. Uh, <clears throat> just a another drawdown this month, uh, but clawed my way back to even again. Literally the third time this year, the first couple weeks I had a drawdown and I clawed my way back the last couple weeks. So Hopefully I can stop that trend going forward, uh, but that, that account is back in the green. Uh, I, most, I, I do some zero DTE in this account, some option selling, portfolio margin trades, a little bit of calendars. I, I transitioned stuff from my other toss account into this one, so I could leave that one just for the, just for the challenge portfolio. So it's kind of a mishmash of different strategies now, uh, but here's, here's where I'm at. You know, first two weeks of January, drawdown, clawed my way back to even. First two weeks of February, drawdown, got back in the green. Drawdown, first two weeks of this month, clawed my way back to even. So again, hopefully I can uh, stop that trend. So here's the breakdown by month, small red, or yeah, small red January, small red February. And then this is uh, where I'm at uh, for March, small green. Uh, my Tradier standard margin account, uh, this is primarily backtest driven calendars and some other random trades if I don't have strikes available in my thicker swim accounts. Um, a, a nice return this month, 8.91% with a small peak to valley drawdown of 2.46. Uh, this one's still in the red. This really hasn't been in the green all month, uh, but coming back from a... Uh, from a drawdown that we saw in, in February and March. And here's the breakdown here. Yeah, really February was the big down. Little little red January, big red February, about nine point something percent, and then nice bounce back this month. And then in my trade of eight futures trading account, this is all directional discretionary futures trading uh, along with my market on close and balance trades. Uh, a little bit green for the month with a pretty sizable drawdown, but, um, you can see, I, you know, had a really good month, almost 65% in January and then February and March, it's kind of chopped around, had a good little run there and then pulled back, but, uh, still very green 55 ish percent higher for the year, but it's been kind of back and forth since, uh, really since January. 
Uh, and then there's, there's the breakdown. You can see the big January, a little bit red last month, a little bit green this month. Uh, all right, so that's that was my breakdown by account that I trade. Now let's go to uh, by strategy. So let's start with zero DTE. So all zero DTE trades, uh, a little over 97,000 for the month. So really nice, really nice month in, in zero DTEs. If I break these down by the different strategies, we'll go uh, AM, my AM trades. All winners, nine trades, all winners, almost 31,000 on those. My challenge portfolio, which includes these trades here, a little over 57,000 on those. So that's my RIC, my one DTE, and my two re-entries. 74% uh, win rate there. So that's been awesome, performing really well. Uh, next category of zero DTE, my, my end of day, my Magic Mahomes trades, plus 4,600 for the month. Uh, one little loser, a couple sizable losers, and the rest winners. 12 trades there. Uh, so that's been cool to do when it when when it sets up at the end of the day. Um, <clears throat> let's see next uh, FOMC. So we did have Jerome taking the stand this month. Uh, three trades, a little over seventy eight hundred dollars on FOMC day for those three trades. Uh, I've got a uh, 1DTE hedge. I'll be introducing this in my trade plan for next month, but that was that was profitable. It's it's going into uh, going on my trade plan uh, coming up in April. Uh, JSPs. So I had three discretionary trades that put me in the red here, in a pretty sizable fashion for the strategy. Uh, you can see that one for minus 6,500. That one for minus 6,000. That one for minus 3,000. Uh, my normal JSPs would have been green, but on the discretionary side, uh, got some got some red in there to the tune of $14,000. Uh, let's see, my NDX, pretty flat for the month. Yeah, minus 164 on 21 trades. And then Power Hour was red for the month. Get all these clicked. Yeah, minus 8,600 for power hour trades. You can see March 4th, 5th, 7th, and 8th were all red. Had some green in there, but overall, not so, not so hot. Minus 8,600 in power hour. And then my PM trades. Basically, my afternoon zero DTE years. Pretty much scratch. Plus 246 on 17 trades. My price action, I was a little surprised by this. They were actually a little bit red on the month uh, by a couple thousand. Yeah, minus 2250. And really, it's because earlier in the month, had some red, you know, March 8th was pretty red. March 12th was a little bit red. <clears throat> uh, actually, they started doing really well in the latter part of the month, but down 2,200 for the month on those. My quiet midday tranches did really well. Uh, plus 9,100 on those. Had a uh, red day on March 8th. But otherwise, pretty, uh, March 19th was red. Otherwise, pretty green. Um, and then, the, so the, and then these are my RICs that were not in my challenge portfolio because they were done on a discretionary basis. Only one loser. So plus 3,000 on those on seven trades. Uh, and then my O2 call calendar, a little bit green. Three trades, one loser, plus 1,500. So that is it for zero DTE. So let's go to the next category, which is directional futures. A little bit green, plus 3,500. Uh, and this includes, there's one, yeah, this one right here, minus 3,400, complete gamble. 
just a complete revenge trade. One of those that you look at yourself in the mirror after it's done and you're like, what are you doing? You know, one of those. Uh, very frustrating that that still happens from time to time. And, you know, I still have that little guy inside me that I got to that I got to just shove smash back into non-existence, but every once in a while he rears his ugly head and that was that was one of those trades. So minus 3400 on that one and then the other big loss was an MOC trade. The only MOC trade I've gotten stopped out on. That was my minus 5000, but still Still positive for the month, uh, plus 3,500 on all my directional futures trades. I'm doing a directional day trading futures class for our community actually later today on Friday. I'm recording this, uh, so for that'll be in the uh, members area uh, if, if uh, for members that can't attend live. So looking forward to that. Next category, Iron Ducks. Just one duck. Plus 280. I am duckless. I have no ducks on right now. I uh, have not had opportunities to enter any more ducks. Uh, next category, dynamic butterflies. Uh, just one loser, one winner, small red, as far as closed trades go. We've got some open trades currently. Dynamic calendars. Plus 9,852. Nice, ni nice month for calendars. Uh, I mentioned in my weekly update. Um, I shouldn't even, I should not have traded this week with the shortened holiday week. I know better. I did, I did reduce my position size super small, uh, but still ended up down 900 for the week. So that I should have added another thousand dollars to this for the month, but did not listen to my rules on that, on that piece. Uh, all right, so that's calendars and then option selling plus 1500. Actually, actually the closed is a little bit less than that because a couple of these were rolls that are still open. But let's see, one close, two, three, four, five, six closes. Um, six closes, one, one of those was a loser. And then lastly, portfolio margin. Uh, plus 5,400. That's actually, that's actually when it settles out, that won't be correct. It'll be more like 1,400. I have this golden shark here that's showing 5,000 because the rest of it hasn't expired or, or settled yet. So that'll end up being about a $1,200 winner as opposed to 5,000. Uh, but some other winners in here, a couple Vertigo winners, uh, Humpty, Golden Shark. There's a Time Fly loss, Humpty loss, Humpty win, uh, and then a couple small, small losers there. So a little bit green for the month on portfolio margin. But awesome month overall. Um, hoping, And this is in an environment where implied volatility is low. So I'll take it. Uh, I will take that every month of the year. Um, all right, all. See you next month. Have a great trading April. Talk to you soon.